Hey everybody, long time no see. Recently, I was invited by Red Bull as a VIP to Red Bull Kumite in Las Vegas. It's a really cool opportunity, but I told them absolutely not. I need a media badge because I want to ask these fighting game pros the real burning questions that I know all of you want answered. And that's what I did. So kick back and enjoy the hardest hitting journalism this side of the fighting game community. And I'll see y'all again at the end. Hey everybody, it's Stumblebee, and I am here at Red Bull Kumite here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, I'm with Apology Man here, Mr. 6755 himself, uh, Brian F. Dominic McLean, also known, probably way better known, as Sonic Fox. Nasser Esports' Big Bird, runner-up participant in uh, Guilty Gear Strive Diaphone. And I'm here with Hollywood! Oh yeah. Rob TV, how you doing, Rob? I like the fact that you put uh, that much respect on my name right there. I feel like you're, I would give you at least like a solid five out of 10 for the way you did that Hollywood right there. So much respect, better than most. I, if that's a five out of 10 and it's better than most, I would hate to hear what most everybody else Oh my God, if you look does. at, if you watch No Neutral and you ever see what Brian F does, <laughs> horrendous. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of No Neutral. I am Hollywood, Rob TV, back at you with another one. My agent might have him kicked off a show one of these days. You would say that Street Fighter players typically don't condone negative societal uh, pressures uh, such as sexism and yes. racism. Yes, 100%, 100%. Okay, let's put that to the test. What the fuck is this? Now, I have a series of quotes here. Okay. And you need to tell me, did civil rights icon Malcolm X say these? Or did Street Fighter's Ryu say these? <laughs> Yo, okay. First question. That, A man who stands for nothing will fall for anything. Malcolm X. Correct. My one true rival is the fight within. Mark, that's lame as hell. Malcolm X wanna say that. That's a uh, that's definitely gotta be Ryu. It is Ryu. Yeah, that's <laughs> Malcolm that's the way, one. Malcolm that's... X is cooler than that, bro. No. When you're born, you're pink. When you grow, you're white. When you're cold, you're blue. When you're sick, you're green. When you die, you're gray. And you dare call me colored. Damn, that's that's a bar right there. That's Malcolm Shakur right there. God <laughs> damn, yeah, Malcolm X right there. That is correct. My brother. Final question. You must defeat my dragon punch to stand a chance. I'm going Malcolm X, I don't give a fuck. I'm sure Malcolm Ooh. X can do a dragon punch if he wanted to. Incorrect. I'm saying, I'm saying, you didn't say incorrect oh, by the time I said, oh. you didn't say incorrect, you didn't finish it by the time that I, I changed my answer. I'm going to say read. Judges? All right, they all accept that. Congratulations, Mr. Who's Rob it? TV. Solving win? racism. You win a Street Fighter branded Little, C Little uh, Caesar's Palace one of a kind cup. Nobody in existence has one of these. Hey, can we wrap this? Get them. Now, Brian, you have uh, a problem with mistaken identity. Would you say that's the case? Uh, yes, I have been mistaken for a few other people from time to time at FGC events. Like 80% genuine. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I have an idea to help solve this problem. Okay. Just so everybody is on the same page, and just, you know, just so we can get the input from the man himself, I created something that I like to call um, the, the, the tournament of people who kind of look like Brian F. And Brian is going to help determine who he looks the most like. Okay. okay All right, so match one. Do you think you look more like Danny DeVito or the stock image of a jack lantern that I found on Google? I mean, one of them is a human and one is a pumpkin. Sure, but like, I mean, look at, look at these cheek lines. That's true. Put these right here. But Danny DeVito is a, is a very beautiful man, so I look more like Danny DeVito. Okay, Danny, De Danny DeVito moves on to the semifinals. All right, next, let's go to the other side of the bracket. We have the President of the United States, uh, Joe Biden. We were just talking about this. And the founder of Facebook slash Meta, uh, Mr. Mark Zuckerberg. Now, Brian, very close match here. Very, very close, close, and unfortunately, I feel like I've seen young Joe Biden I think I look more like Joe Biden. 
Really? I don't I don't want to say it, but I think I'm going to have to go with Joe Biden in a couple of years. You know what I'm saying? Five more years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Street Fighter Five stresses me out enough. There we go. Now, uh, next match, we have a cat. Mm -hmm. Garfield the cat likes lasagna, hates mm -hmm. Mondays. Do you hate Mondays? I do. Do you like lasagna? I do. All right. And the man who is going to be voicing Garfield and Mario, uh, Mr. Chris Pratt. Mm -hmm. Who do you think, out of these two, you look more like? Well, sometimes there's more than meets the eye, so sometimes you have to go with the heart, and I think my heart is with Garfield in this one. Wow, okay, that's an upset. That, that's, that was the lowest seed of the tournament. Okay, uh, even lower than the Jack Lantern. Take it up with the seating committee. Finally, we have the host of Wheel of Fortune, Pat Sajak, and a mystery competitor, the mysterious Mr. F. Mr. F. Yes, I can see he's going with a unique look, kind of some inspiration from Zoro, maybe? Something like that. I think Something. he has a chin line. Uh, I see, I can tell. And a, a bit of a mustache going on, but yeah. see, the thing is, you can twirl his mustache. Can You, you can't do that with I yours can't yet. twirl my mustache. Huh. So I think that's going to disqualify Mr. F. Wow, okay. So, so I'll have to go with, uh, you said Pat Sajak? Pat Sajak. I've heard that name plenty of times, but I've never seen the face. Yeah. Go Pat Sajak. Have you ever seen Wheel of Fortune? In the semifinals... We have Garfield the Cat and Danny DeVito. This is a match of the elites. Uh, it's true. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. But, you know, there's something about that Danny DeVito smile. It's like looking in the mirror. Give me the, give me, give me I'm the gonna smile. Have, I'm going to have to go with Danny DeVito. Give me there. the smile. Look, look at that. It is. He's glasses on me, and, I mean, it's, 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 a, you know, it's an exact replica. I'm blown away. The, the uncanny resemblance for the other semifinals. We need to determine the final. Is it... Joe Rogan, not Joe Rogan, Joe Biden, or is it Pat Sajak? I really hate to say it, but I think it's Joe Biden. Joe Biden uh, once I mean, again. I, I don't pulling the, say it. Pulling the underdog route through the tournament. Man, that's incredible. Okay, and the moment we've all been waiting. Personally, the thing that I've been invested in most this weekend, we have Danny DeVito uh, in all of his roles, mm -hmm. and then Joe Biden. The president, literally the president of the United States. If I were to use maybe like it's always sunny Danny DeVito, I'd go with Joe Biden. But I've seen Danny DeVito in The Batman. And oh, yes. Looking at that movie, Danny DeVito as the penguin is like looking in a mirror. Wow. So I'm going to have to go with Danny DeVito. On Danny, this one. Danny DeVito, everybody. So whenever you're at an event and you see this tall, slender, muscular man, Think Danny DeVito. Yes. I think we figured it out. Now, there's, so my friends, whenever I was um, explaining to them that I was going to be interviewing Sonic Fox, they were like, hey, you should look up some of the, some of their, uh, some of, the, 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 of their fan art. Okay. Uh, they told me to look up this website, uh, like E620. Oh, no. <laughs> E6, E6 something. Oh, God. <laughs> and so... Let's kind of like look at some of them and you can kind of explain to me what's going on, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why are there two of them? I, I, I don't know what there's two Sonic Foxes. Just know that one's lewd and one's me. <laughs> Not safe for work. <laughs> I am friends with the other Sonic Fox though. Hi, Nick. <laughs> Which one would win in an arm wrestling contest? Ah, uh, Nick. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, finally, is 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 Jacko for real? Uh, unfortunately, Jacko is so cool, but she sucks. I think she has bottom two and guilty gear, so I am not using her. All right, bottom two along with Gold Lewis. I think Gold Lewis Dickinson is the worst character in the game, unfortunately. First out of them, you can't even block. Mini go! You gotta be careful, and there it is, Gobo, our Red Bull Kumite Guilty Gear Strive champion. Wow. With Gold Lewis of all characters. Wow. A little over 24 hours. I asked you if you thought Gold Lewis was the worst character in the game. Yes. And you unequivocally said absolutely. Yes. Do you still think that? No, I think Jack was the worst character in the game. I gotta say, I, uh, I think it's really cool that uh, there is a, a person of Middle Eastern descent who does so well with the first Street Fighter character 
of Middle Eastern Middle descent yeah, yeah. in Rashid. I felt like that was a nice. I feel like that was a nice touch to my to my profile, basically. There is another fighting game at this event that has also debuted its very first Middle Eastern character, Shaheen, Shaheen with Tekken Seven. Now, I don't know if you have realized this, but creativity is kind of at a premium. And what I mean by that is that between those two characters, uh, apparently the only thing they have in common is sand, birds, and wind. Yeah. So I have selected 10 moves from Rashid and Shaheen's move list. Okay. I'm going to tell you the name of a move. And you need to tell me, Rashid, is that Rashid. Rashid's move all right, all right. Cool. or is that Shaheen's move? Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, starting off. Hunting Falcon Dive. Hunting Falcon? That's Shaheen. Correct. Yeah. Beak Assault. Tougher than you think, isn't it? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, I've never heard it from Rashid, so I always say Shaheen. That is incorrect. Oh my god. <laughs> That's gotta be a unique move. Alright, third. Maelstrom. <laughs> this is too hard. I don't think I know. I'm gonna assume. Ma wait, can you say it again? Maelstrom. Shane? Correct. Shane. Okay. Correct. Yeah, yeah. I think you got like what nine yeah, out of yeah, ten. Only one, only one, only one I two. did that with somebody else earlier. They got two. <laughs> if Soul Bad Guy were a baseball player, what flavor of Big League Chew would be his favorite? Swing and Sour Apple, Out of Here Original, Wild Pitch Watermelon, Ground Ball Grape. Uh, there is a correct answer here. Which one does the most damage? But it's gum, so. I guess it, uh, maybe it's ground ball, because he's like a really grounded character. I'm, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just go with that one. Um. <laughs> you know, I'm going to give that to you. Uh, I just wanted to see somebody's reasoning okay. uh, for that stupid ass question. And uh, the last question that I have for you is, um, out of these four gears, which one is the guiltiest? That a uh, Colt? Train from like metal. That, that's Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with with that one because it's got the D3 and the D1. That's that's not on a lot of like gear ships anyway. That's guilty of just being old. I there was a correct answer for this one, and you chose correctly. No. <laughs> it is the gear shift because it is the only one of the four that's a little shifty. I hate it. <laughs> I, I okay, so this is the only guy, and you know, just he's probably done something bad. It's like he kind of looks Marcus like a Phoenix. Bug. Yes, so, I don't he know is, who it is. Yes, but yeah, he's I probably agree. the most guilty. So actually, that's incorrect. <laughs> the guiltiest gear of all of this lineup is this one right here. Okay. Because it's a little shifty. Ah, uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's yeah. See, the, the crazy thing is, it looks like. Uh, the gear was like seven foot tall. It kind of threw me off. So. You can't that, that is very shifty. That you is can't shifty. trust seven, seven foot gears. <laughs> exactly. Let that be. The, if anything, anybody learns this weekend, <laughs> let that be it. And there you have it, folks. Thanks to me, once again, journalism prevails. I wanted to give a big ass shout out to Parker, to Jared, to Blake, to Tanil. All of the folks at Red Bull who made last weekend absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you all soon. As for the channel, Red Bull Kumite really helped me kind of figure out some things creatively, so hopefully I can get back at uploading again. Um, my internet situation ever since moving into a new house has not been great, so the stream has kind of been put on hold, my Twitch stream. But once that's back, you can check me out at twitch.tv slash stumblebee. I'll let you know when that happens. Thank you once again to everybody who has supported me or watched a video. It's good to be back, and I'll see you soon.